Annyeonghaseyo. Hi everyone, this is Arielle, one half of Soju for Two, and this is day 78. Um, so today is Tuesday, uh, November 13th, and I want to sort of catch you up on the weekend and everything that's been going on. I've had such a busy uh, week. So I guess last time I talked to you guys, maybe it was last Tuesday or Wednesday, so a lot has been going on. Uh, on Thursday of last week, it was one of my best friends here in Korea, her birthday. So we all went to Ashley's, which is a chain of sort of American sort of style buffet that it's like 20,000 won, but it's um, all you can eat and then it's all you can drink. Now, it's, I don't drink whatever. It's like not a, the best deal in the whole world for me, but for my friends, it was a super great deal. There's 72 locations in Korea, so I would say if you... Um, you know, if you're interested, if you're living here, definitely check it out. It's like a fun sort of event place, I would say, for a bunch of foreigners. Um, and they, the food is good. There's like a little bit of a mix, like some fusion, but definitely some Western stuff that like, I missed a little bit. They were really, it was really, really good. Their french fries were delicious. Um, but they had like real proper food as well. Um, and then on Friday, I sort of was low-key night. Um, and then Saturday was crazy day. So... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still a little bit sick, guys. Um, on Saturday, I went to Jongbokgong Palace, um, and I went for a tour. As I mentioned before, guys, um, I'm doing the Jozen Royal Culture Museum, like, five-part series. Um, so we spent two hours getting a tour of the palace, and it's beautiful. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I'm going to make a video on it separately because it's one of the ten that I'm going to visit since while well, I'm here. And um, it's a really beautiful palace. It's not as big as Gongbokgong, but um, Gongbokgong, but it is. Um, it's really notable. The examples of all the sort of traditional Jozen things are really, really high quality. There, there's a few interesting stories about the palace. Um, there's a, a home for the beloved uh, concubine or second wife, as I like to call her, um, one of the last or one of the later kings. Um, it's a really beautiful place, and there's a lot of romantic stories about it, so it's very cool. And then, uh, that night, uh, we went to a benefit for breast cancer, um, a fundraiser, and I went to see a lot of my friends that I haven't seen since orientation here, and we all, just, you know, had a great time just sort of donating and things like that, but there were also a lot of, like, games. It was in Itaewon, um, at a place called Sinbin. Uh, which is basically like exactly like every American bar you've ever been in your life. So if you're in Korea and you want to go to like a really like American bar, that's definitely a good place. I recommend it. Um, it was just, you know, pretty low key. It was a sports bar, like a million TV screens, that sort of thing. So definitely something that I've been, I haven't seen a lot in Korea. Uh, I don't know if I really missed it, but it's something that felt like home for sure. Um, and then after that, we went to um, a few different clubs. It's sort of interesting. We went... It was a, a very crazy night. Uh, we started out at um, a club very close to si the Simbin in, in Itaewon. And um, it was a really intimate club. Um, dance floor was really nice. There was no one there, though. Like, maybe the bar was kind of full, maybe, like, 15 people. And the dance floor was, like, completely vacant. So we were, like, the only people dancing which was, which was fun. I love to just dance around that. But it definitely was not a place we wanted to stay like all night. So we were there for a little while. And then I went to a place called Gold's Bar. Gold Bar, which is right next to it. Um, and Gold Bar is, I went there for Halloween. And it's a lot of fun. They play a lot of like top 40 music. Um, so it's definitely like fun to dance to because you know all the songs. But um, it was a really weird crowd. I think like it was very like handsy and um, not Korean at all. Mostly like foreigners and I think it was like not it was really uncomfortable for us um so we left there pretty quickly and we went we went to a really cool like for just one minute just to check it out and see what it looked like um it was a club called Mute and what's cool about this club it's basically all Koreans like I didn't see any um westerners there but um and it's because the bar is free but the nightclub I think is 30 or 40 which for Itaewon is really expensive um, for Gangnam, it's sort of the average, but for Itaewon, it's expensive. Um, but the atmosphere was really, really cool. I'd love to go back there. It was sort of dark, and it kind of felt like, definitely like a New York City club. Um, you know, a lot of, like, deep purples and very lush looking. Um, and I really liked the vibe there, so I'll definitely go back there. And then we sort of ended the night, um, into the morning in Gangnam at Club Mass. 
Now, Club Mass is an electronic, like, house music club. Um, and I love, love, love the environment there. Like, it was really just neat. It was just really fun. Everyone was, like, dancing. Um, we spent a very good portion of the night on the stage. Um, I love dancing on the stage. It's because even though I'm not drunk, I just love being, like, able to be free to dance. And I think that the hard part of being, like, in the mass of people at Club Mass um, is that you really can't dance when there's, like, a million people around you. So I love that ability to dance. And that's what, like, you know, just dancing up there really is amazing. And um, the DJ was really, really awesome. He was really handsome. He looked a lot like Kim Jae-ok. If you know who Kim Jae-ok is, you can understand why I was so happy. Um, but I definitely would go back. And the cool thing is my friend Tina, who I'll link her down here, Tina Who, she um, knows the, the DJ. And he, you know, sort of got his in for free. I think it was maybe... $20 cover or something um, so we didn't have to pay for that which is awesome so it's a great thing about sort of like getting contacts in um, in Seoul is that once you do you sort of have the hookup which is awesome and um, yeah so it was definitely a really it was just a fun night we didn't go home until probably 7 in the morning but for me like I like think of my night dancing as like super exercise I love it and I even though I'm you know I'm not drinking I can dance for eight hours straight um, and I just feel great afterwards. Um, and then I went home and crashed on Sunday and um, spent sort of the day, like, really low-key day. Just did a little bit of planning for my winter camp, which is coming up. Um, so, so much going on. It was such a busy week. And then Monday, I went to a drama festival. Um, so, for my district, which is Sobu, um, we a bunch of the schools, not my school, didn't participate. But a bunch of the schools participated in the drama festival with elementary schools. And it was fun. Um, it was pretty long. It was maybe like three hours. Um, each play was very long. But the kids worked really hard on it. Their English was amazing. It was an English drama festival. Um, and the kids really worked hard. So I... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> I felt really honored to be there. And uh, there was a lot of... Actually, there was a few celebrities there. Um, that I don't know if they were like directing the plays or what the case was, if they were family or whatever, but there was a few actors and actresses, um, not ones that necessarily we watch in dramas right now, but a few movie actors that I've seen before, um, not super, super popular, I don't think, but definitely like notable and exciting they were there. Um, and then today, today I went to the museum again for the fifth part, uh, the five part series. This is number three. And this one was calligraphy and the Joe Zen, sort of royal education. So it felt a lot like Sun Kung Kwan scandal, um, learning about that. And we actually got to see like paintings of the kings going to Sun Kung Kwan and lots of things like that. And then I got to make my very own fan. I painted this. As you can tell, it's not very good. Um, the flowers are supposed to be um, cotton. Um, and then it's like, I don't know, winter barren. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, and then I have my Korean name over here. Um, and so I made this, and it's a really cool, um, fan that they gave us. It has, like, etching on it, and little tassels, and there's a seal up here. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, it's really, really cool, and we got to paint those, and we got to keep it. And, uh, the, the whole thing was really neat, just to sort of, like, get to experience things. Like, I've seen so many dramas about, the, like, educating the royal prince, but you never really know about it until you get, like, a class on it, which is really awesome, and I'm really, really loving that about this series. Um, and then what's going on tomorrow? So tomorrow is Thursday night. I'm going to, or I'm sorry, tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, I'm going to a indie, um, indie concert. So the plan is I'm going to go to dinner and um, a concert with a really, really nice person I just met, a nice guy. Um, and hopefully uh, the concert will be amazing. I haven't been to any concerts since I've been here, and I'm really sad about that. So I need to start doing more concerts. And... Uh, back home, I used to go like to the Bowery and stuff in New York, and I love indie concerts, and uh, so this is really exciting for me, because even though I like to dance to like, electronic or hip-hop or something, the music I really listen to like, on my phone or on my iPod is always like indie music, so I'm super excited about this. I want to see the indie music scene, and apparently the bar is really close to my house, so it'll be convenient, because I do have school the next day, um, so I will keep you guys posted. I'll try to make a video about it. Bye, everyone.